Jenkolism or jenkel bean poisoning is a clinical syndrome following ingestion of jenkel beans. It is considered an unusual but important cause of acute kidney injury in Southeast Asia. In this report, we describe a case of jenkolism occurring in a remote setting and conduct a systematic review of pertinent literature. A previously healthy 32-year-old man presented with acute bilateral flank pain vomiting, hematuria, and decreased urine output after eating jenkel beans. Renal ultrasound revealed bilateral mild hydronephrosis and no stone was noted. Urinalysis showed many red blood cells and no crystals on microscopic exam. Supportive care was given to the patient. After four days of hospitalization, his symptom resolved. Jenkel beans or Archidendron jiringa, a local delicacy in Indonesia. The jenkel bean contains a large amount of sulfur containing amino acids. The beans are eaten raw, fried, boiled, or roasted, or sometimes served as a dessert. Regardless of the method of preparation, the ingestion of even one bean causes the bread and urine to have a sulfurous odor. The pathogenesis of acute kidney injury following jenkel ingestion is unknown and is proposed to be an urethral obstruction by jenkolic acid crystals. The crystals may lacerate renal tissue and cause bleeding or, in some states, obstruction with sludge. Jankolism has two main presentations, a mild presentation with cramping pain and hematuria corresponding with urethral obstruction, and a severe presentation with severe renal colic and acute kidney injury. Mild jankolism requires no specific treatment except for supportive care. Severe jankolism is managed additionally with alkalinization of the urine with sodium bicarbonate to increase the solubility of jankolic acid. Some cases of severe jankolism with anuria may require surgical intervention. In our literature review, we found cases where the average number of beans consumed was 10, with symptom onset 2 hours to 4 days after ingestion. Serum creatinine was elevated ranging from 1.7 to 14. The majority of patients were treated with hydration and bicarbonate to alkalinize the urine. Cases in which conservative treatment failed were treated with dialysis, surgery, urethral and bladder irrigation, or ureteric stenting. The mortality rate was 4%. In conclusion, jenkolism is an important cause of acute kidney injury in Southeast Asia. Based on our clinical experience and literature review, it is important to be aware of this clinical entity and the appropriate treatment, especially in areas where jenkel beans are commonly consumed.